Let's now start with the next concept in this chapter. That is that that is the concept of hydrocarbons. Okay. So as the name suggests, suggests hydrocarbons are basically compounds of hydrogen and oxygen. Sorry, compounds of hydrogen and carbon. Compounds of hydrogen and carbon. So when carbon and hydrogen together form bonds, they are usually called hydrocarbons. Sometimes oxygen may also be present, but they mainly involve hydrogen and carbon, right? So hydrocarbons basically involve carbon and, you know, carbon bonds, catenate compounds. There, are, there is catenation by carbon. Carbon forms bonds with other atoms of carbon and hydrogen is also involved, right? So based on the type of bond between carbon atoms in a hydrocarbon, right? So you know that carbon can form a single bond with another carbon atom, it can form a double bond with another carbon atom, or it can form a triple bond with another carbon atom. For these types of bonds, please look up my covalent bonding video if you haven't looked it up till now, because now you really need this, because for carbon and its compounds later on, we'll have to draw Lewis dot structures. And if you don't know covalent bonding, it will be really difficult. So I would please suggest go look over that video, have an introduction over Lewis dot structure and covalent bonding. Anyway, so on the basis of the type of bond between carbon atoms in the hydrocarbon, whether it's a single bond, or it's a double bond, or it's a triple bond, we have two kinds of hydrocarbons, right? We have two kinds of hydrocarbons. We can have a saturated hydrocarbon and we can have an unsaturated hydrocarbon, right? Depending on the bond between the carbon atoms. In saturated hydrocarbons, there'll be single bond only, single bond between carbon atoms. There will only be single bond between carbon atoms. In unsaturated, there will be double or triple bond between carbon atoms. Okay, so you can have either single bond uh, in case of saturated and in unsaturated, you can have only double or triple bond between the carbon atoms, right? So this is an example of a saturated hydrocarbon and it has a special name it is called alkane it's called alkane please remember this it is important alkane these double bond and triple bond carbon uh, compounds are unsaturated right and based on the type of bond again they have special names Double bonded carbon atoms are called alkenes. Okay, these compounds which have double bond between carbon atoms are called alkenes. And those which have triple bond between carbon atoms are called alkynes. Okay, so you can have alkanes, alkenes or alkynes depending on the type of the bond that is the number, the amount of bonds, the number of bonds between two carbon atoms. If whether are all are single bonds, an alkane. If there is a double bond, then it's an alkene. And if there is a triple bond, it is an alkyne. Right? So this is the classification of hydrocarbons on the basis of the type of bond between the carbon atoms in the hydrocarbon. Okay? So let's take an example. And we'll draw the lewis dot structure also this time. Let's take an example of eth ethane. Right? Now, ethane basically is ane. It is an alkane right and it has the formula c2h6 nomenclature of hydrocarbons will be doing it later because it is later on so for now just look into it as examples later on you'll know how to name them as well so c2h6 ethane the lewis dot structure if we draw okay i'll just give the structural formula okay when we don't show the octate formation and electron uh, you know this thing then it's just a structural formula. I'll do both the Lewis dot structure, that's the electron dot structure, as well as the structural formula. Let's have a look. C2H6 alkane. It is a it is ethane. So for this, let's draw this Lewis dot structure. There are two carbon atoms, each with four electrons in their outermost shell, since we show only the outermost electrons in the electron dot structure or the Lewis dot structure. 
right so four electrons in outermost shell then this carbon has to have a single bond with this other carbon so there will be a single bond right so they're going to share one electron each right so there's a single bond now for the hydrogen this has three more uh, free electrons and the other carbon two has three more free electrons so let's attach because hydrogen needs one bond to have an uh, have a duet that is stability because hydrogen can only accommodate two electrons in its outermost shell since it's the first shell it's the l shell uh, sorry it's the k shell so let's have hydrogen attached to each one hydrogen attached to eat each of these electrons so this is one this is one this is one and then this is one this is one and this is one right now let's take the duets okay this is one more and this is one this is one and this is one right so this is the lewis dot structure of ethane right lewis dot structure of ethane now let's draw the structural formula in the structural formula we just show the bond right we don't show any of these uh, you know electron sharing and blah 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 we just show the bonds with a line so let's take two carbons one carbon and one carbon so two carbons now there is one single bond between them right since they're just sharing one pair of electrons so one pair of electrons being sh shared so one a bond so there is one bond here so that's the one bond then this carbon and this hydrogen have a single bond because there's only one pair of electrons being shared so again we draw only one line similarly with all other hydrogen with this carbon and all of the hydrogen with this carbon right so this is the structural formula of ethane right this is the structural formula and this is the Lewis dot structure right so when they ask you to draw the Lewis dot structure you draw it like this by showing all the electrons and you know outermost electrons then uh, showing the sharing between them right so all that you need to show but in this it, uh, when they tell you to draw the structural formula just show this okay no need to show the electrons just the lines are okay fine uh, that's absolutely clear that's with ethane right a single bonded carbon atom there's a single bond between the carbon atoms please note that there is only a single bond between the carbon atoms hence it's an alkane right let's now look at the next thing let's look at ethene right ethene now see there is ene it's ethene so it is an alkene right double bond between the carbon atoms the formula for this is c2h4 okay c2h4 how do we do the structure now because there is a double bond hence the number of hydrogens has also decreased from six to four because there is going to be one more bond between the two carbons so two bonds let's draw the uh, lewis dot structure right this is like this or better do it like this now because there are going to be two pair of electrons being shared between the carbon atoms right so that's one now you can show the bonding you can show the sharing sorry not the bonding sharing this is one sharing and this is the other sharing right so they're sharing two pairs can you see two from this and two from this now let's look at the hydrogen the hydrogen will take you know one electron each and they'll share it and there are only going to be two hydrogen per carbon because only two free electrons are left per carbon so this is going to be for this hydrogen duet and this hydrogen is going to have a duet like this and this hydrogen is going to have a duet like this and this hydrogen is going to have a duet like this right so this is your electron dot structure of ethene right you can also show the complete octet also by showing the showing everything that's better because you should show this carbon has this electron and this electron too actually that's what you should be doing not this directly yet though but make sure that's there take this whole thing okay this even these two electrons should come under its uh, lining circle now let's look look for the uh, double bond between the carbons. so this is the structural formula double bond between the carbons then one hydrogen here one hydrogen here and one hydrogen here one hydrogen here 
four uh, bonds for this carbon, one, two, three, four, four bonds for this carbon, one, two, three, four. And you can see here there's a double bond between the carbon atoms. There is a double bond. So we say that it is an alkene, right? So it is an alkene. Okay, fine. I hope that's absolutely clear. Now let's move on to the last example that is of an ethyne. That is of ethyne. Ethyne is the example we're going to take. And ethyne is now an alkyne. And it's going to have triple bond between the carbon atoms. So can you guess the formula now? Two electrons, two hydrogen will again decrease. So C2H2, right? Let's draw the structure. Uh, let's draw the Lewis draw structure. So again, we're going to take two carbons, one and three electrons here because we need to share three pairs of electrons between the two carbon atoms, right? So now let's draw the structure properly. Actually, I've not done it that accurately because we need to include even the electron of the hydrogen in the octet of this carbon. So let's do that now. Let's draw one here and one hydrogen here. So let's first complete the duet of the hydrogen. Right, so that's the duet of this hydrogen and that's the duet of this hydrogen. Now let's complete the octet of both the carbons. So these three electrons and this electron also. So we're going to include this as well. Right. And we're going to include this electron as well in the octet of this carbon. Right. And this is the Lewis dot structure or the electron dot structure of ethyne. This is actually the better structure than what we've been doing earlier. So it's imperative that you take this electron as well. Okay. Please mind me because that was my mistake. You should include this electron as well. Okay. Now let's draw the structural formula. This is three bonds, right? Three pair of electrons. So three bonds and one here and one here, right? So in this way, you draw the structural formula of ethyne. And you can now clearly look at this. This is a triple bond, right? And we saw that it is an unsaturated hydrocarbon. What kind of unsaturated hydrocarbon? It is an alkyne. Right? I hope that's absolutely clear. So with this, we conclude our hydrocarbons discussion, the types of hydrocarbons, and I've given you an example of two carbons. They can have a single bond, a double bond, or a triple bond. Thank you very much for joining me, and please look up the next video uh, of the series. Thank you very much. Goodbye.